First Lady Barbara Jackson. And I'm Steve Jackson, pastor of Abundant Grace Church, where our motto is, Love, love is, is what, what love does. does. We're, we're, we're located on the northeast side of town at 6236 Quail Avenue. Our service times are Sunday morning at 10 a.m., and our Bible studies are Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Uh, you can also look us up at, on the website at www5 agc.org. All are welcome to come worship Jesus Christ with us. Amen. And so we're here by invitation of the phenomenal Ricky Smith on Faith on Friday Extra. And it's an honor and privilege to be here today. Amen. Today we're going to talk about blended families. And so uh, that's something very near and dear to our heart because we are a blended family. So we want to just talk on that and maybe touch on a couple of things to encourage uh, some families out there or maybe to help some families out there that are in a blended family and you're facing and encountering some challenges as it relates to a blended family. Talking about a blended family, we are a blended family because before me and him married, I was married before and had two children. So, of course, if he's going to marry me, my the, they come with the package. And so that's our blended family, yeah. his stepchildren. But they don't look at him as a stepdad. They look at him as dad. When we first got married, there was a not so much as a big problem, but the children would always come to me. There was eight years of separation between their father and I. And so they were so used to coming to me to ask for everything. And being married to him, we had to turn things around so then that way they would give him the respect that was due unto him and uh, go to him rather than to always come to me. And so the way we worked that thing out was to where if they came to me, I would ask them, did you go and say anything to Steve at the time? Because that's what they were calling him. And um, they would uh, go and ask him, and then he would come back and ask them if they had asked me. And so that let them know that we were both on the same accord. It wasn't a thing to where you can come to me and ask me one thing and then turn to him and ask him the same thing with a different answer. So you know how children can be, whatever it is that they doing to get um, the answer that they want, they will ask, you know, ask either one of us. And so we were just trying to keep down the, the enemy from coming in and causing any type of confusion. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, when I think of a blended family, I first uh, think of an illustration with a blender. And you're having two separate items uh, that you put in the blender. And you turn the blender on uh, and it blends what's in it and makes it become one. And so it's very similar to marriage that when two, uh, as the Bible says, two have become one uh, to become one flesh is very similar with the blended family because you're taking two separate families and bringing them together uh, to make one family. And so what the, one of the first things that uh, we're, we wanted to just kind of encourage someone on or to help someone along with uh, as it comes to a blended family is unity. And so my, my wife already alluded to it that when we came together, uh, we had to be a united force and we had to be on one accord uh, so that the children couldn't play either one of us. And so uh, we had to make sure that we were on the same page. So anytime we had any decisions that needed to be made, uh, we would discuss it. Or if the children brought it us up without us having an opportunity to discuss it, then we would go behind closed doors. And then whenever we came out from those closed doors, we were on the same page. We were on the same sheet of music. And so uh, therefore the children weren't allowed to play us. And so uh, with that, as she was saying, uh, the children began to gain respect for me because they just couldn't run to their mother for whatever they wanted. Because it, again, it's no longer uh, their mother, but it's our family now. Yeah. And so uh, we make <clears throat> decisions together and not separate. And so you have to be careful uh, that if both bring children into the family or one parent brings children into to the family, uh, that you they know that you're both on one accord or it would bring division in the family because a blended family is no different uh, than a regular family, if you will. Uh, only thing is, is it's ready-made. 
And so you have the challenges up front uh, before the husband and wife really get a chance and an opportunity to learn and know and grow amongst one another uh, before the children come into the family. So with a blended family, uh, we just have a head start. So, uh, and that's okay. And so thank God for blended families. And so that's first and foremost is, is the unity uh, in, the, in the blended family. The second thing is our boundaries, uh, that you have to have boundaries within a blended family. And so uh, we, we didn't allow our children to just kind of do whatever they wanted to do. Uh, we, we gave them responsibility of chores and, of course, doing their homework and, you know, all of those kinds of things. And so uh, we had boundaries for them uh, so that as long as they stayed within the parameters of those boundaries that were set, uh, they didn't have any issues. And so uh, with those boundaries, my wife disciplined our daughter and I disciplined our son. And so I want her to explain a little bit about that real quick. Well, one of the things is that when uh, the discipline came about, we discussed it because with her being a girl, um, myself, you know, being a girl, you know, I didn't think that she really needed that much of a spanking. So <laughs> if she was going to get a spanking, it would have to come from me. And so we talked about that, but she did not know that he was not allowed to give her a spanking. So, so long as she, you know, she knew that he was able to, she made, that was uh, a way that I knew that she was going to still give him the respect and not disrespect him because nah, 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 you can't whoop me. You know, mm -hmm. mama's going to do it. No, no, no. She did not even know that um, he was not going to spank her, that it was going to be on my hand. Uh, my son, on the other hand, uh, he needed that, that manly, you know, discipline mm -hmm. and to know that he could not just, you know, do what he wanted to do. And it only took one time. Now, he mm -hmm. did have to spank him once. And that's the only spanking that he ended up getting from him. And I don't think he feel like, hey, I don't need no more from him. So we ain't going to do this no more. So whatever it is that he did, we were able to talk with them. And uh, they were they were good children. Yes, they and they, were. And, they you were. know, not to the point of where they needed, you know, a lot of discipline. But, you know, when it came that time, we did not hold back. Right. If need be. Absolutely. And so and that's a part of the boundaries in that, uh, again, in going back to the unity that you both have have to set up who's going to be the disciplinarian and, 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 and how that's going to, t to, to transpire. Because if you don't, then again, the children would take advantage of it and use it against you. Uh, and there will, there will become a level of disrespect uh, of one or both of the parents. Uh, because there there are no set boundaries and there are no set roles of one being the disciplinarian and one not being a disciplinarian. So you, I couldn't always be the disciplinarian or she couldn't always be the disciplinarian because it's, it's out of balance. And so uh, the children would notice that and they will know, well, if I go to him, I'm always going to be the discipline side. But if I go to mom, then it's always going to be, you know, whatever I want, you know. Uh, and so we couldn't have that. And so sometimes she was a disciplinarian, sometimes I was. And so you have to find that balance uh, within the relationship so that that doesn't become... Uh, disrespect uh, within the home and with the in the relationship that will cause problems between the husband and the wife because it's no longer your child it's our children mm -hmm. and so that's the way it was with us and so it wasn't her stuff or my stuff it was our stuff and so uh, just a couple of things as it relates to uh, blended families in that uh, unity is, 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 is very important and those boundaries are very important and so we're just uh, honored to be here on Faith on Friday Extra. Thank you, Ricky, for giving us this opportunity. We want you all to tune in uh, for this Faith on Friday Extra. Uh, she is doing a phenomenal job, and we're just part to play a small role in this. And maybe we, she may have us back another time to come and share something else. But we thank God for this opportunity. We love you, Ricky. We appreciate it. And we are going to continue to tune in to Faith on Friday Extra. God bless you. God we appreciate bless you. you. Love you. Love you.